that hack you need to do. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. We are here today at Univer- We're at Disney World! Today we are going to be headed around the Magic Kingdom and busting some hacks. We all know those Magic Kingdom hacks we see all over the place. We're gonna be exposing them, seeing if they work or if they don't work. The first hack that we are trying to bust is if early entry is worth it. We are here, it is 7.56, early entry begins at 8.30. We're gonna try to get on some rides and see if it's actually worth it to get here this early. Tomorrowland and Fantasyland are open for early entry. Right now the Tomorrowland line is super short. Uh, but we're gonna do Fantasyland today because we've never done early entry for Fantasyland, so let's try it out. All right, so here is the Fantasyland line for early entry. This is because a lot of people are going to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. We're going to Peter Pan's Flight, something different to try out today. Look at these crowds all lined up for early entry. These all are Disney Resort guests. This is the magic, they say, folks. <laughs> You could head on Pooh. We're headed to Peter Pan. A lot of people are on Mine Train. Good amount of people are coming over here too with us. Looks like most of these people are going to Pan and not Small World. Like none. Oh, you gotta do stroller parking back there. So if you brought your stroller, you can't get on. All right, here we go. I haven't been on this ride in so long. Because it's always so long. Oh look, there's like four people going on Small World. All right, five minutes. This ride is already up to a 45 minute wait. Here we go, up to Neverland. And off we go. All right, we just got off Peter Pan. The whole thing took 10 minutes. The ride is now a 50 minute wait. That's insane. So basically, if you're in the front of the line for early entry and you get here early, it's worth it. If not, you're just gonna be waiting 50 plus minutes for the most popular rides. But that's kind of like every park though. You know, if you don't get here right at the time, it's only, you get only at 30 minutes, so it's 8.40 already. 20 minutes left of early entry. You could do Small World, which is only five. But those big rides are still gonna be very crowded. Another hack for your Disney day is whenever you're at a quick service location, make sure you ask for water just a cup of water for free instead of having to buy a water bottle every time they'll give you water in a cup no charge all right the next hack we're going to try to bust is in Tomorrowland I've been trying to bust this hack and actually like make this hack work for so long it's on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin I feel like I can never get Galactic Hero even though I know all the hacks so we're gonna try again all right let's try to get Galactic Hero first you have to try to hit the inside of the robot's hand and make sure you hit the very center of the target I did it I did it on the first one let's go I hit the inside of this guy and it was going so slow and not moving so I did oh my god <laughs> my first time All right, come on, let's go to the top of the volcano. There. See that Z up there? Right up there, that one. Right there, yeah. Yeah. Keep going, keep hitting it. There you go, you're almost there. Keep going, keep going. You got one more opportunity after this. All right, now you gotta do the bottom of the spaceship. Right there. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, oh, come on, we're stopped. You got this. Keep shooting. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, you're almost there, you're almost there. Ah, go. <laughs> yeah, so let's look at it too. Woohoo! It worked. The hacks work. Yes, double Galactic Hero. Now you gotta ask for your Galactic Hero sticker. We were so excited. We showed our excitement to the cast member and she gave us special ones. We're so excited. <laughs> I love this for us. I'm so proud. I've been working on this for so long. I finally did it. Woo! It's time for the people mover because this is my favorite ride in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> this is my first time on it with Tron done. So I'm excited to see Tron. She's living on here all day. I just want to keep going. Oh, I see it. There it goes. Whoa. 
right, here's a hack for a free little activity. You can do a pirate's adventure. We can enlist ahead, so let's check it out. It says operating hours are 12 to 6 p.m. for this pirate's adventure. Let's see. I'll slow down for you. Thank you. Blackbeard. Ooh. Uh, so, that's gonna be the first clue on the map. Okay. You see where it is? Find this marker on your map and go there. This one. Yeah. So we're right here, <laughs> and this is pirates. So okay. You just gonna follow the map. And find, and then I look around and I find this symbol. Mm -hmm. And then it'll lead me to my next clip. Mm -hmm. In the description. Thanks, awesome. Thanks so much. Wow. All right. So I got my little pirates adventure map. This is a free thing to do around Magic Kingdom, which there's not much free in Disney World in general. So I figured out I try out this little hack. A little free activity. We'll see if it's fun. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm looking for. So this should be interesting. All right, we'll do this first one. So it looks like it's in like rocks. I found it, I found it. All right, so it's by the Tiki Room. Here it is, here it is. But now what? All right, we found the second one. On, like pretty much right next to the Pirates ride. We're just following the pictures at this There's point. There's another one. Okay, there we go. We got that. Now, is that all of them? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to this guy and ask about this map. Because you can't even read that. Should I Google Translate it? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely in Spanish. Hey, I'm back. You have fun? Well, we can't read our map, though. Are we supposed to? It's in English, though. We can't. We have no English map. Okay, so you're not supposed to read it. It says it's in English. He said it was... So you just gotta follow the pictures. But that was cute, free activity. You don't get a prize or anything, but you can keep the map, it's fun. That was so embarrassing of us. We were like Google translating the map. Do I even put this in the video? This yes. is just embarrassing. You know what? It's life, Completed it's reality. It. That's what you get here on the Crystal Palace, the real tea. All right, a major hack is if you have a Crystal Palace reservation around 10, 20 on, they put out lunch during the breakfast times. So they switched this to a salad bar, which is awesome, because you're paying for breakfast, but you get a little lunch too. Those lunch options that you we get during our breakfast for our breakfast price, which is so cool. All right, so I actually got a salad too because they have some lunch options, which is awesome. Good thing about getting breakfast a little later. Another hack to save money is to bring a reusable bottle. So I got this collapsible one so I can just fit it in my backpack. The thing is I haven't seen many water fountains around the area though. So you really have to like look for a water fountain and when you see one, fill it up. But also use the quick service water hack as well because that one actually is good. All right, swapping my fuel rod here. Insert this way. Then they should give me a ah, nice fully charged one. So this Disney hack does work. I love these fuel rods, just portable chargers. When they die, you come here and you swap them out for a newly fully charged one. All right, we're trying LeFou's brew. I heard, I've like seen people compare it to butterbeer, but it honestly tastes nothing like butterbeer. It tastes like a apple juice slushy. A sweeter apple juice slushy. It's pretty good. I love apple juice. So it was about a little over $6. From Prince Eric's Market, we're going to get this jumbo pretzel for $10.79. It is way more expensive than a Mickey pretzel. However, I heard that it's way bigger and better. So it might be good if you are coming with a family. You just get this one and split. It might end up being cheaper than getting a Mickey pretzel for like seven bucks. All right, so here's my $10 jumbo pretzel. It looks like the one in Epcot at Beer Garden. So I love that one. Hopefully this one's good too. So you can see the size. Bigger than my face. It's pretty good. Maybe a little bit on the scale side. But definitely great. You want to like give it to your two kids to split rather than buying two different Mickey pretzels. All right. I'm glad I tried it. It's definitely more of like an authentic big German pretzel. 
think it was worth the few extra bucks. The next hack that is crucial for shopping at Disney, especially big stores like the Emporium, is to use mobile checkout. What you do is scan one of the signs, if they'll have a QR code on it, or just go to the My Disney Experience app and search the Emporium, and you could start your mobile checkout. It's kind of like a grocery store. What you do is if you want an item, you scan the barcode, and it creates a shopping cart for you. Then all you do is pay right on your phone, and go to a mobile checkout stand right by one of the exits and they will check that you have everything on your receipt give you a bag and let you leave the store because the emporium is pretty much madness especially at the end of the night so this just makes it easier you don't have to wait in any checkout line all right our last hack of the night get on an outdoor ride specifically big thunder mountain for the fireworks let's see if we can do it it says a 15 minute wait they just started Woo! Let's get on. I changed, by the way, so not a different fact. You're supposed to wear pants or glasses. Let's remove them, because this is the wildest ride in the wilderness. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Hope we see the fireworks. Ah! Woo, woo. Ah, we saw them. Woo. Ah. recommend riding big thunder during the fireworks that was so cool and we timed it so perfectly also it goes like 10 times faster at night i swear that was so fun that was perfect that hack you need to do also it also was a posted 15 minute wait we waited 10 and we got on at perfect time all right that does it from the magic kingdom beautiful castle as we're walking out, it's 9.07. We caught the electrical water pageant. As we're walking to the bus. That's good timing. All right, everyone. That does it for us here at the Magic Kingdom. I hope this video helped. We tried out. A lot of the hacks did work. I think my favorite, though, was riding Big Thunder during the fireworks. That was definitely amazing. Also, going to the Crystal Palace around 10.30, and you get the breakfast price but you get some lunch options as well. That was a really great one too. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below. I will see you guys in the next one from the Magic Kingdom. Good night. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, wait, it didn't Latin. That's so embarrassing. I, did, I took Italian all throughout school. I did not take Spanish. All right, here goes the translate. No. No? It's not working. What is that? I'm so confused. Yes. All right, we got parts in English. Maybe this is another language. Like, is it, it has Portuguese to be. It has to it... be. All right, let's go ask. Joey made fun of me the other day for saying um, polo, asado. Because <laughs> it's pollo? It's pollo. Because polo is like Italian. All right, so we're Google translating our map right now. <laughs> I think that this is like way more complicated than it has to be. All right, come on.